The Mexican alligator lizard lives about 130 feet in the air in Mexico's cloud forests. This bright green lizard is listed as endangered as man destroys its habitat for agricultural purposes. There has been very little study of this lizard in the wild, but it lives for about 10 years in captivity. Mexican alligator lizards live in trees in Mexico's cloud forests. Illegal poaching and claiming more agricultural land is causing this lizard to go extinct. Mexican alligator lizards live for about 10 years. Mexican alligator lizards eat insects. Mexican alligator lizards are usually bright green. Adult lizards are a vibrant green. Their color is similar to the color of leaves in the spring. They have a bright yellow circle around their eyes. The facts are that the male is much more colorful than the female, who is a much deeper color, and the circle around the eye is much more subtle. Juvenile lizards are born a tannish color with subtle black dots. This coloring provides camouflage so that predators do not as easily spot them. Each has very defined scales, adding to its beauty. The scales usually are a green color with some black lines and dots in them. When kept in captivity, many of these lizards lose their vibrant green colors. Instead, they turn teal colors. Scientists are not sure why they change colors, but they think this is because of the difference in light. They need the sun to remain its original color. All of these endangered lizards have triangular shaped heads. The head has very sharp teeth, which helps them eat hard shelled insects. They also have a long tail that can be up to 50% as long as their body. If they get into trouble, they can release their tail to get away from danger or predators. These alligator lizards have short legs with long claws. They can use their sharp claws to hold on better in the trees where they live. These lizards live in trees in cloud forests. They spend most of their day among tropical plants. The Mexican alligator lizard prefers to live near bromeliads because the cup-like leaves capture water for these lizards to drink. They are most active during the day and sleep at night. These alligator lizards spend a lot of their time catching insects to eat. These lizards live in trees in Mexico's cloud forest. A very few are also found in Guatemala. They prefer to live about 130 feet above the ground. The cloud forests of Mexico are shrinking as more land is converted for agricultural purposes. These areas contain young trees that tie together areas of old growth forest. If you choose to raise these alligator lizards in captivity, you need to provide for their needs. They need to be in a terrarium with lots of humidity. Be sure that they have light during the day and darkness at night. You need to provide lots of places for them to climb and hide. They can withstand temperatures as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit. These lizards eat insects. They are opportunistic eaters in that they eat whatever insects are available. Sharp teeth allow them to crack the shells of even the toughest insect. If you keep one of these lizards in captivity, feed them three to four crickets, moths, wax worms, small cockroaches, hornworms, mealworms, stick insects, or flies per lizard weekly. Female lizards stop eating about a month before they give birth. As soon as they give birth, they will return to eating. Females usually become sexually mature during their third year. These lizards give birth to 1 to 12 juveniles. Usually, breeding occurs in the late summer or early fall. Then, the babies are born from late April to late July. In captivity, females will stop eating for about a month before giving birth, but few studies have been done on their mating and breeding behaviors in their native habitat. Scientists know that other species of alligator lizards do not practice elaborate mating rituals. Instead, males seek out females interested in breeding 
and the sexual act occurs. <laughs>